Hey YouTube, it's Carla Archange56 and today is July the 3rd, 2016. Well, let's see, where should I start? There's a lot going on. I'll start with my weight. When I started my journey four years ago, wow, four, it's been a little over four years, I weighed at 221. That was my highest recorded weight. Day of surgery, I was, you know, I've forgotten the day of surgery. I really don't know what I was the day of surgery. Anyway, Today I am um, 140, which is about where I've been for the past year or so, I guess, give or take a little bit of time. Having some issues, um, kind of like I was two years ago, I'm having pain in my lower um, left stomach area. I've done a few things before I actually go to my bariatric surgeon because before they did, you know, two years ago, they did exploratory surgery because he thought I might have an incisional hernia. He didn't give me a yes or a no. He said, come in, I'm doing it tomorrow. And then they found out it was scar tissue and I was full of poop. Um, so, I had, and I've also had a few other little issues, and I normally have colonoscopies every three years. I had one last year, um, but I went ahead and started there, called and got an appointment for that. Called my gynecologist, got an appointment with her. So, gynecologist said everything looked good. She went ahead and did a vaginal uh, ultrasound. Everything was good there, so no issues with that. Um, I went in Friday for my colonoscopy, um, and everything was pretty good there. The, not to be just too graphic or too much information, but the, you know, the prep went well. I was cleaned out. So if I was full of poop, I'm not anymore. Um, the colonoscopy went okay. I do have a polyp, and I do have some diverticuli which is fairly normal for me. I mean, I normally, I had a polyp last year. I have one this year. I mean, I've been having these um, almost 20 years now. So, um, and almost every time I have one, I have a polyp. So, but we keep on top of it. So, so that's good. I have an appointment with uh, Dr. Pennington, blah, 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 blah. Dr. Pennington, who is my bariatric surgeon, but it's not until August the 16th. So, I'm still having the pain when I eat, every time I eat, no matter what. I can eat slider foods, but firm protein I have a really hard time with. But almost anything I eat is going to cause the pain. So, don't know where to go if I need to call and try to get an appointment sooner. So, because they're kind of treating this as a yearly, which last year when I saw him, he said I did not have to come back on a yearly basis unless I had some issues. Um, so, they're treating this like a yearly, um, and then if I, I guess if I have an emergency or I think it's an emergency, I need to call and see if I can get something sooner. So, that's that. Um... Uh, along with that, I went to my diabetic educator, um, and I knew this was going to be the case. I mean, my sugar is berserk. My A1C was not pretty, and she just kind of, well, she didn't really jump on me because she knows I know what to do and that I'm not really doing that bad. I mean, yes, gastric bypass-wise, I've let a few things in, but I don't. I don't go nuts with what I eat, so but I, so I'm back on a very strict diet, um, and I get to you know I'm the proud owner. I already took oral meds and Levomir at night, which is a shot of insulin. So now I get to te test my blood sugar four times a day, and if needed, then I have rapid acting insulin to take three times a day. Whoopee! Isn't that exciting? You know, I did this surgery. That's the main reason I did the surgery, and everything's, you know, falling apart. It's not because I hadn't followed the rules, but, you know, they said it's my hereditary heredity. There's not a lot they can do about it, and this doesn't normally happen, so let, let me not scare people off. And besides that, I wouldn't be here today had I not had the surgery. I, would, I, I wouldn't be here, so... Uh, I'm, I don't com I'm not complaining about the surgery. It's the best thing I ever had done. I am complaining about my health issues, but <clears throat> hopefully some of those will go away. When I when I saw my diabetic educator, she did lab work, 
you know, as far as my vitamin levels, my cholesterol, all that stuff is really good. <clears throat> my sugar was elevated. Um, my creatine was elevated and my liver functions were elevated, which those for me, you know, those are problem areas. Again, some of the reasons that I had this surgery. So I ha I'm going to have to go see her again. Well, she said see her in three weeks. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll see her soon again. And she's going to look at, you know, my sugars that I've written down in my little diary. So I am planning to eat tonight and tomorrow. I got church does ribs and so I got some ribs from him and I got some baked beans and some slaw and just a little bit of potato salad and some watermelon and that's gonna be my fourth of July so um, that's what I'm eating as far as working goes things the past few weeks have been nuts I think I mentioned in my other video the couple that I work for I no longer work for and the people that I'm um, I'm helping now or working for he was my high school choir director and he's been in and out of the hospital. Last week, his wife was in the hospital. But I think we finally have an answer with her. Um, they did a CT, and she's got three fractured vertebrae in her hip area. Well, Coleman is a small town, and there's not a lot of choice of doctors. Could have gone to Birmingham, but they kept her in the hospital a few days because they didn't want her moving around much. But they finally sent her home since it's the holiday weekend. And she's to go back Tuesday and have surgery. They say it's immediate relief. They just kind of go in there with a balloon and pump up the areas and then they fill them with cement. Who knew? Anyway, I hope that hurts for her, works for her because she's been in a tremendous amount of pain. Which, the, the more I work, the better off I am because it kind of hurt when I quit working on a regular basis because I was doing well with that. Uh, I've got two more trips planned. <laughs> I really need some, a little bit of money to do those. Um, in July, I am going to Columbus, Ohio for the 31 Gifts Conference. Um, I am a 31 Gifts Independent Consultant. If you like 31 or you want to know about 31, just check out um, their webpage. <clears throat> it's um, just 31 Gifts, but you can find it easily. And then in August, I will turn 60. Yes, uh, who, who can believe it? I can't believe I'm 60. I don't, I mean, sometimes my health isn't, you know, but I still, you know, don't think I'm 60 years old. So I'm going to the beach with my cousin for my 60th birthday. So those are my trips, I got one in July and one in August. So that's what I've got planned. Um, I'm filling in at church a little bit where we're without a minister of music um, and I don't know so I don't know if I really talked about that a lot but for 15 years um, when I was teaching I was also a minister of music at a small Baptist church in the same community that I taught so um, I'm experienced at that I have a minor in music so I'm gonna be directing music um, for a couple of weeks in church just kind of filling in we're really blessed with talented people so it's not gonna be too much for any one person so I'm gonna be <coughs> singing and uh, directing music for a couple weeks which I really like so that's my update I think I can go in and get the prescription now hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July Independence Day take time to stop and think as Americans how blessed we are if you just ever look around at other countries you know we've I'm not getting political here you know people complain we've got you know the elections this year and people you know you're either one side or the other or you don't you, you don't want either one but still we are very blessed as Americans we have been given many opportunities and just you know just God bless America that's all I can say have a great holiday talk to you later bye